your cam here in the middle. There you go, thank you. Of course, I'd like to call back on stage our earlier performers. I'd like to call back again on deck, Yuki Godblast and Zeki Darkness. God bless and Jackie Darkness. We are two international cosplay guests that are official representatives of Thailand in the World Cosplay Summit. Incredible performers, so we have shown the performance prowess earlier. So again, Yuki God bless and Jackie Darkness. And right now, to be the moderator of this panel discussion, I'd like to introduce to you, we all know this lovely lady. She's the author of Magnetic Dash Road. I hope your costumes are okay. You can sit down. Yeah, okay, they can sit down. All right. Oh, let's, let's share a mic. Okay, I'll get a, I'll get a mic. Uh, once again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for our international guest, Mr. Clyde Lee from Singapore. Mr. Jeffrey Darkness from Thailand. Miss Yuki Godless from Thailand. And last but not least, Miss Pinky Lushun from Indonesia. talking about how they, get the, they got their start at cosplay, uh, their individual experiences cosplaying here uh, in their home countries and abroad, which includes the Philippines. And last but not least, we will be taking questions from the audience. So if you have any good questions for our guests, please hang on to them and we'll get to you later. So let's start off this uh, panel with uh, our first question for Mr. Clive Lee. Hi Clive, how are you? Hi everyone. Nice day. Okay, fantastic. So uh, we know that you're a veteran cosplayer, but we're really curious. How did you get your start in cosplay, and when did you start cosplaying? Well, I began in uh, 2001. I was uh, part of a member of uh, my school's anime club. And um, my senior is a cosplayer, and he introduced me to cosplay. And uh, at the time, cosplay is like um, something that no one has seen. I mean, most people don't even know this word, cosplay. It's an alien word. And I saw it, and I find it like very interesting. And I was telling myself, why not? I tried it. So I built my first costume out of um, cardboard boxes that I can find. Oh, so you got your start on, in paper? Yep, because my first costume is a uh, Gundam. Ah, so it's come a long way now since you're doing fiberglass, right? Uh, no, no, not fiberglass. I'm not there yet. Yeah, okay. uh, just doing uh, PVC and uh, PVC. Plastic. Okay, it's really interesting. Um, so you were the winner. You were one of the two. The pair who won the first ever uh, Anime Festival Asia Regional Cosplay Championships back in Singapore in 2009, was that right? Yep. Yep. Uh, we were. I was also there, and they had a wonderful performance. And I want to ask, how was it backstage? Were you nervous? Were you numb? Uh, what were What were your feelings before and after your performance? In backstage, I am um, actually feeling kind of down um, because uh, my costume actually had an accident um, right before the performance actually as uh, it was raining and it kind of got drenched and damaged when I was right. trying to transport it and oh, I must was, have been really stressful yeah, I was spending the whole night trying to repair it and um, I totally gave up hope and I tell myself uh, that um, I just want to do my best. I just want to put up a good show as with the best of my effort. I don't look for winning or anything like that. I just want to put up a good show. That's all. Uh, well, you know, it's really heartwarming and it's really 
inspiring for us to know that even if you were expecting not to win, you won anyway. So it's really a boost of confidence to all the cosplayers. Even if you're not expecting to win, you know, just hope for the best. It could turn out uh, perfect, like what happened with Five and, and Caroline, her, uh, his partner at AFARWC. So thank you very much, Five. We're going to take one question now from the audience. Oh, sorry, yeah. We'd like to get one question from the audience. Does anybody want to ask one question from the Five Yeah, hello. I'm actually here with the audience right now. So again, I'm there. I'm here, yeah. So Mr. Shaw, again, we are entertaining a question for Clive from the audience, right? Right, right. Okay. Yes. You guys? Does anybody have any questions for Mr. Clive Lee from Singapore, one of our guest of honors uh, today? Um, yeah, we do. We do. We do. We do. Oh, we have one over there. Fantastic. Yep. All right. Sir, please stand up. Okay. And you have a sword too, right? There you go. Okay. We have a camera to feature this guy's costume as well. Sir, what is your name? I'm Elvin Madhok. Uh, my question for Mr. Clyde was, uh, would be, uh, how much time and effort do you usually put on making your costume or props? Well, um, um, time-wise, it really depends on what props, what costume, uh, difficulty of it, and. Um, I'll say, uh, average, okay, let's say my mecha costumes, um, it ranges from three weeks to six months, depending on uh, my schedule, because I'm, I happen to be working, so uh, most of the time I'm doing my mecha part-time. So um, the three weeks is when I'm studying, well, well I was studying, I'm not studying now. Right, uh, that is uh, when uh, school holidays, I will have the time, so I'll just uh, go day and night, like a train. Alright, okay. Uh, before we move on, is there anything you'd like to say to Sir Clive? Um, thank you for answering my question. Thank you. Thank you, Elsie. Okay, thank you so much. Now we're moving on to one of the ladies. We'll start with Miss Pinky Lucian from Indonesia. If you're not familiar, uh, Miss Pinky was in all an uh, Animal Festival Asia Regional Cosplay Championship representative. She was from, she was the Indonesia rep for Singapore uh, for Indonesia in 2009. That's right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, so Pinky, when did you start out cosplaying, and how did you get into the hobby? Well, I started cosplay at 15 years ago. I wow, you're really a veteran at this. Yeah. Um, I was a gamer back then, and then uh, one day I looking for the internet, I looking for game board, so I saw this Japanese writing square costume of my favorite game character. Ah, I you were inspired by this Japanese yeah, girl. Uh, I was uh, attracted. I thought, is this for Halloween? Uh, then I found out, oh, this is for cosplay. Uh, since then, I am really interested to do it by my own. Right, so I noticed that like a lot of people who've only started out cosplaying, they think it's only for Halloween, right? Or, or costume party or a Christmas party, but really, you know, you can do cosplay all year round. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about your experience uh, at RWC just like five. So, um, did you spend a lot of time preparing for your costumes for the competition? Um, actually, I rarely join the competition. My costume is usually for my private position only. Ah, photo shoots! Yeah. Right. So you specialize in photo shoots? Um, yeah, I'm not really in the competition. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So, again, I not just about the competitions, you can also have fun cosplay on your own. You can put a private photo shoot at studios or locations just like Pinky and Orochi and Shinji, that's what they do in Indonesia. So, do you have any tips for first time who want to do studio cosplay? Do um, you mean a photo shoot studio? Yep. Oh, I think uh, prepare your costume, your book, and uh, try to post like the character, that's all, and have fun. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Pinky. Okay, now we're ready to take questions from the audience. Where's my partner in crime? Over here, over here. So, all right. Hi, okay. the gorgeous. So, hello, the other side. Okay, the other side. Of it. Yeah. Actually, I went here first because I heard the loudest screams from this area. So, thank all right. you. All right, yeah. so now let's move on to this area. Do we have any questions for Miss Pinky? No you guys would like to ask her? Okay, now from Tagalog, we will translate to English. Okay, do you guys have any questions? This is your chance. 
to interview our international representatives. Huwag na tayong mahiya, minsan lang to. Tayo tayo lang naman eh, onti lang tayo dito. So does anybody have a question? question? Yep, the guy with the hat. Okay, here. Let right. me, I'll go over there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love this audience too, they are conquer. Okay, there we go. Sir, what is your name? Dane Cortez. Dane. Okay, all right. So now, what is your question from Insane Healing Soon? Uh, can I have a picture of you after you? Uh, the back? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. Miss Pinky, do you still remember me uh, on the Facebook? Dane Cordes, the one who uh, make the... You have uh, a friend! Right? Even on Facebook, he's really the one who, over you. Who make a vector vector actor? The one who uh, make the vector vector actor. So. <laughs> okay, so right. congratulations. Okay, thank you. Good thank night you. yourself. I mean, uh, photo opportunity with your Pinky. So we'll watch out for you backstage in a bit. Okay. Now we're moving on. Thank you so much again, Pinky. It's been wonderful talking to you. Let's move back to the jazz. I would like to talk to this handsome fellow over here. I know a lot of the girls are really after him. Uh, I've seen the Facebook wall messages. You naughty, naughty girl. Right, so we, uh, today we have Mr. Jackie Darkness. He's one half of the WCS representative team for Thailand for this year. So they've just been to Aichi, right? All right. Right, so again, let's ask him, how did you start liking cosplay? When did you start doing cosplay? Uh, that's a long time, around nine years, ten years. Oh, I like, uh, I really like uh, anime. Animation, manga from Japan. Right. And uh, I like a like a collector from from the another another comic. Mm. I think uh, someone I want to do same that. Right. right. Okay. Yeah, that starts with my first story. Uh, yeah. uh, just like a lot of the cosplayers here in the Philippines, Jackie started out being a, an anime fan, a manga collector, a video game player, and then he moved on to cosplay. You know, as an extension of being a fan, right? Okay, so we've been talking about WCS all day long. So again, I'd like to ask you, how was your WCS experience? The World Cup for Submit, uh, I think it's a good event, but a uh, high professional uh, for performance, first player from another world, right. Right, from all people up to any any country. Right. right. And uh, I have a feeling so very happy for, uh -huh. for, for meeting right. for all people in the World Cup for it. It's a good experience for me, right. and I want to somebody want to go to the first place summit. I want to you go for party, for enjoy, right. not thinking about only for that's all. Ah, so Jackie has some very wise words for us who are aiming to win competitions. Don't aim to win, just do it for fun, right? Okay, so thank you very much, Jackie, and now we'd like to move back to the audience. If you have any questions for Jackie, aha, uh -huh, we already have a volunteer. We do, we do have a question, we Michelle. We haven't asked the question yet, and already we have a volunteer. Fantastic. Yeah, we do have a volunteer, all right? We set up, my dear. Is this supposed to be yours? Yeah. Okay, you're a cosplayer. You have a cosplayer. It's your remote control, battery operated. Yep. Okay, and what is your name? Benek. Okay, Benek. All right, what is your question? Um, my question is, how does it feel to, to be here in Cosplay Mania 2011? Uh, as a girl cosplayer from Philippines, it's very cute. And uh, all people, the boy cosplay, that's awesome. It's good character, good costume. All people are looking for any people come to this event. I like it in your costume. All right. Okay, so Jackie is very flattering words for our cosplayers here. Yeah. He really likes all the costumes. So good job, everybody. Right. Actually, before you move on, uh, uh -huh. Rochelle, uh, we are all wondering actually how they were able to create 
the clock show or how is uh, Jack able to create his clock? What materials did he use? Uh, we have a question. Uh, I make a I make a this costume from the rubber foam EVA for the EC EC soft leaf, right? Okay. Not the not the material this is. Right. Uh, I have a little bit time for making because I want to do the food better for okay. costume. A uh, little bit making, little bit making, little bit blood. Uh, okay. than say something as difficult as fiberglass. Okay. Uh, it takes a lot of time because it's very fussy with details. Yeah, I can see yeah. the options right now. It takes a little bit right now and a little bit later and a little bit later again. So it never ends, right? <laughs> it never ends. So you can bring the clock shows. Right. Okay, so last but not least, let's move on to this wonderful, lovely young lady next to me. This is Yuki Godless. She is one half of the team from Thailand WCS. So Yuki, coincidentally well, Yuki, Jackie and I were together in Hong Kong last yeah. year for Animax Hong Kong uh, Anime Treat. So nice to see you again. Yeah. It's been a while. Nice to see you here and made a lot of um, house prayer here. Thanks, okay, so that's great. So again, just like Pinky and Clive and Jackie, how did you get your start in cosplay? For me? Yep. Um, actually, I am an anime fan when I was young mm -hmm. and when I grew up around 10 years old, mm -hmm. I am a big fan of uh, the rock band named Grey. Oh, really? Yeah. She's I'm a big rock fan. She yeah. loves Grey. And, right. and then I saw a lot of the friends cosplay with them. Uh, but I am just really shy to cosplay. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then five or seven years later, I met Jackie. Wow. <laughs> WCF. So my question is, um, since most girls actually don't do armor cosplay, which is unusual for you in Pinky because you do a lot of armor cosplay, how difficult is it for, you know, a young girl who's just starting out in cosplay to do armor cosplay? Um, the youngest because, um, uh, maybe it's because the men, a yeah. male cosplayer who make the armor.
to give her a present, but when it got to Thailand, she was here in Manila. So, take your chance, you have a gift for her? Are you, are you a fanboy of Miss Are you a fanboy? Keep it up, keep up the good work, um, more power. Alright, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, thank you so much. much. Another round of applause for our guests, Mr. Clive Lee from Singapore, Mr. Jackie Gartner from Thailand, Ms. Yuki Gauzlet from Thailand, and Ms. Pinky Lucian from Indonesia. Guys, let's go and show our appreciation for our uh, international guests of honor. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Once again, thank you very much. This is Cosplay Making 11. My name is Rochelle. I'm from Magnetic Dash Road. See you guys. Thank you.